Alright, a little bit of overtime bonus coverage for any Sunday afternoon. This is the girls' scratch title match. We couldn't do that earlier because Kendall Balea ran the ladder to win the handicap division. So poor Matty Holman's been waiting since so about Thursday afternoon to bowl this game. As the top seed in girls' scratch, as it stands, she trails by 10 pins and can tie things up. But she can make it three in a row here in the seventh frame. Yes, ma'am, sure does. Holman has had herself an outstanding weekend. She partnered up with four guys to win the Baker team event yesterday, and you know, those guys were not small names, Malloy, Mays, Mays, and Fernandez, and for most of the event, she was the anchor bowler, which means they felt she had the best look. She did and performed great the entire event. Here in a totally different pattern, qualified third for the main scratch division, and here bowling for the girls' scratch title. That's close. Oh. Checks up early on her on this Badger lean pattern. Difficult 6, 7, 10 to deal with. This is more makeable on Badger than it is on more patterns because the ball sliding will help you in many cases. See if she chooses to aggressively go for it or just take the two. That'll be pretty close. Nope. That's the risk you run when you do go for it, especially on a double. That's two more pins to count. And now all of a sudden, trails again by 16 this time. Always tough when you gotta bowl the subdivision match after you win the main tournament. Kind of a, the adrenaline flows out of you from, from doing the, uh, the main accomplishment. You gotta reset body and soul to get this part. Uh, However, Balea was able to double in her first two frames and has thrown really four good shots the last four frames, all of which nine counted. And a fifth pretty decent shot leaves a nine count, but she's got little slashies there instead of little dashies. I talk myself for saying make your spares and so far the fact that she is clean through seven and a half is the difference in this match. And I'm just gonna, I'm, the, 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 the door is eight feet that way and I just might have to go at it because every time I say something, I talk up Maddie, she throws a split through the nose, I talk up Kendall being clean and she doesn't get that one either. So we're just, you know. Here. I'll be outside. So I'm outside. So. Ah, yep. Rest my case. I'll see y'all later. We'll just. just, just, just. Don't look at me like that, nostril face. Every time I say something nice, something goes horribly wrong. So I was trying to somehow leave you, still record the video. Talk about how pretty your nine spare, nine spare, nine spare was, and nope. Miss. Big opportunity here for uh, Holman in her ninth. Trails up by only four. Oh, man. Pretty ball, ringing ten. Spared up, four pin game, anybody's match. One frame to go. Excellent spare shooter. Cross lane at it, no trouble at all. That's her scoreboard there, 146 through 8, playing that 150 through 8 of Kendall's. Double here makes Kendall get the first one. Anything less, Kendall will have to mark.
in the town. That is a dead flush perfect badger pattern strike. Get the ball at the pocket, the oil will do the rest. 48 feet. And that in the one three by about 35 feet. Just sat there and devastated the rack. Can she do it again? Close. Ah. Just a border, board and a half right. Doesn't face up. That's a half ten. Most of the time, she was begging for it to carry. It doesn't. She'll finish at 186 with the spare, and Kendall will need the first hit. Or Kendall will need a spare rather, because she's in double. Kendall will need a spare and uh, seven, right? Yes. Admirable game, just two opens on the big splits. Just one last bit of coaching from Pop. This is a big match. These two will be in a race for the all-conference girls scratch bowler of the year all year long. They'll get the three wins they need. If they don't have them already, they might get them to the girls TPC. Then it's just all about piling up those points. With the quadruple point TPC, that could be the difference at the end. So everything you can get. Way wide. Oh, man. That has been a 2 of 10, a 2 8 of 10, a 2 8, a 2 4 5 8 7. <laughs> that could have been anything. I thought it was going to strike. It doesn't. Instead of 7, which is no gimme, she just missed a fourth into the right. Can't over adjust on this, just trust your game. Ooh, the ball will not hook. She's got to have it at the pin. There's no friction to save her. That's true. Right, yeah, it is. Yes. Ten is yay, nine is yay, eight is yay, seven is yay, six will irritate the director because we'll have to be here for two more shots, <laughs> five or less will thrill Team Holman. Please let this be the last shot of the day, one way or the other. And by two pins, it is great girl scratch match to wrap it up. It's a 188 to 186 final. It's Kendall Boy a complete quite a day. Oh, there was the smile. I was desperately looking for a smile on camera there. And it was getting a, you're going to see a heck of a lot of those two going at it for the entire season. And we are going to pack it up and do it all over again in Tacoma in five days. Great stuff. Thank you, William.